with some straight answers right from the president's mouth. Joining me now to discuss Florida Republican congressman and retired U.S. Army Airborne Infantry Officer Greg Stubbe is back. Welcome back, sir. Hey, thanks for having me. So do you share the vice president's rosy view that this will not strange, uh, strain rather Chinese-American relations at all? Well, it won't strain relations for this administration because this administration is completely compromised. Uh, they've given billions of dollars to Joe Biden's son, and you know the big guy's taking his 10 percent. So for this administration, they don't care. They let this 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 Chinese surveillance drone, this big, huge balloon, for nine days traverse across our entire country. They knew about it from nine days. We had a, a briefing for all members of Congress. They found out about it on the 27th. On the 28th, they confirmed that it was actually radar from China. This is what it is. It's 90 feet long was the payload. That's like the, a small house or a barn is how big this thing was. And they let it traverse the entire country. The president was advised on January 31st. Uh, the Joint Chief Staff was advised on the 28th, and they did nothing about it. So what do you think the pres president should say now to Americans who are still very concerned because we've had three more objects uh, spotted and shot down in our skies? Well, what's fascinating is even Justin Trudeau in Canada, of all places, is going on TV and telling his citizens what was going on and what their response was and how they're going to react to this. And Joe Biden's sitting silent because I, either he doesn't know how to respond to this because they haven't told him what to say, or they're just, hey, let's just let this blow over. The mainstream media won't talk about it. Uh, only the conservative stations will talk about it, and we won't have to address it. Meanwhile, we have F-16s and F-22s and F-35 scrambling, shooting down now unknown objects, mm -hmm. uh, which are, I'm sure, made in China, and uh, without, no, without any information from the president giving to the American people. What if they are not made in China? Where else could they be from? So one of the interesting things in the briefing was well, a question that was asked was, could these be some weather balloons or other type of uh, educational assets? And apparently the people that typically put those up in our country all said that it wasn't theirs. Mm -hmm. So if everybody in our country and all of the people that do these type of weather balloons say, ain't ours, then you can point the finger at China, Russia, North Korea, some type of rogue country that wishes to surveil in the United States. That makes Alaska even more vulnerable because they're all over there. They're all west of Alaska. And they're like, come on, man, you're just letting this thing or these things, plural, float into our airspace and no one seems to care. I'd be a little freaked out right now. Hopefully you'll get more briefings and you can brief us on the briefings, which so far, Congressman, have been unsatisfactory. Uh, agreed. Absolutely. Right. Very good. From this administration, we don't get any information. We don't get anything. We just get, they downplay everything until it's an even bigger crisis, and then they blame right. the last administration. And that is not enough. That is not how you govern. All right, you know that. Thank you very much, Congressman Stubbe. Yep. Very good, good to see you. You too. Thank you. The Biden administration.